and derivatives are big leverage bets that Warren Buffett called financial weapons of mass destruction. We've experienced that twice. 1998 with long-term capital management that was doing derivatives against government bonds, the safest things you can do. And it almost blew up the global system. We had to go in and bail them out, Wall Street and the banks, et cetera, so that you didn't even know that it happened. But I'm telling you right now, it absolutely did indeed happen. And again, in 2007 and 2008. So I really do, if you can look at it, you can see that, you know, if these are assets and these are like football fields and tennis courts, et cetera, to give you an idea of the size. And then you look at, you know, the derivatives. Yeah, that can topple the system. And by the way, all of these derivatives have to shift by June 30th of this year. No one really knows the true value at risk because all of their accounting tricks, et cetera, actually hide it. And central banks, they're committed to raising rates and push the global economy into, you know, do you think this is gonna be just not a big deal and short lived? No, this is a very big deal. And central banks are most likely to be making huge policy mistakes because they're between a rock and a hard place. At this point, it really doesn't matter what they do. And even though they want us to believe, well, all central banks have to do is turn around and lower interest rates and start printing like crazy again, and we'll be out of a recession. Yeah, it doesn't really work quite that easy. I think this next one is gonna send us into a hyperinflationary depression. Maybe I'm wrong, but there is no doubt in my mind. I believe governments have a plan. And this plan is based on transitioning us into a new fiat money system. But this is even more dangerous than this one. Because if you, when you, we were on the gold standard, if you didn't like what the government did, you simply went in and converted this into this. And that created restrictions. When you're holding this, it does not preserve your your purchasing power, as we've seen, but it does preserve your principal. Once they get us off of this, well, then your principal, they can attack it. So 1996, the NSA, which is a government agency, did this white paper on how to make a mint with, to, with cryptography. And if you look at all of the different aspects of it, boy, it sure does look like, bin, like Bitcoin, doesn't it? Yes, it actually does. And so I don't personally think that, is it a, that it is a coincidence that Bitcoin came out in January of 2009 and quantitative easing started in March. They needed to paper over the problem and get in a position so that they could transition us from a paper debt-based system into a digital, maybe transaction-based system. That does not put your best interest first. Do you think it's a coincidence? Only you can answer that. And I know that a lot of people think that or thought that anyway before the crypto winter that, you know, cryptocurrencies were the all the best and boy, they were decentralized, they were outside of the system and that would save us. Well, you know, what they know is they need to keep things as close to normal as possible. And the latest count that I saw, we've had adoption in this country of 16% of American adults have on some level dealt with cryptocurrencies. Th that's enough adoption to start to execute the next part of their plan, which is to go do digital. This is from the Bank for International Settlements, the central bank, central bank, and they're talking about the future of the monetary system. And what they're really looking to do is execute policy and modify rates instantaneously so that the Fed could have its little finger on the button constantly. And hey, we're a consumer driven economy. If you are not doing what we want you to do, we just push interest rates lower, attack your principal harder and faster and more visibly for you to see it. And then what are you likely to do? You're likely to take that out of the system and, and frankly, 
put it into anything else that is likely to be more stable. So I don't know about you, but do you feel good about the central bankers having their finger on that button and constantly tweaking it? You wouldn't know what in the world is going on. What's up? That is way too much control because look what a great job they've done so far. I'm being completely facetious. They want us to believe that private cryptos are bad. And hey, look at what's going on with FTX and Coinbase and all of these. Those are not the cryptocurrencies. Those are the exchanges. So they're not really so decentralized and all the thievery. But uh, yeah, they want to be the only ones that can steal your wealth. They don't want anybody else to. Central bank digital currencies are good and the way they're going to sell it. So you heard it here, write it down. You'll see, cause this is what they said. Now, maybe they won't, but this is what they said. If you allow them to control the currency, there will be no more inflation. So we have to have really, really, really bad inflation much worse than what we've experienced so far for you to go save me, Mr. Bill, save me and accept the next round of garbage that they want to stuff down our throats. Because really what they want is they want to collapse the system, transition into a new one and stay in power. No, you know how you avoid that? Here you go. Gold and silver physical in your possession outside of the system. According to the bank for international settlements, it runs zero counterparty risk. Everything else is all counterparty risk. So here they talk about the electronic money standard. So we go away from the paper standard, just like we went away from the gold, silver and silver standard to a paper standard. Now they want electronic money standard. The lower zero bound arises. So how low can you go? Zero, because this is actually a federal reserve note that does not pay interest. So this establishes zero interest rate because if you saw negative rates, you could go to, and they were experimenting with it. You know that, um, you could go to the bank and pull these out and preserve your principal, not your purchasing power. Forget that that's gone already anyway, but preserve your principal. So that's what the lower zero bound arises when a government issues pieces of paper or coins guaranteeing a zero nominal interest rate over all time horizons, no matter how long you hold on to this cash, you still have a dollar, a hundred dollar bill. Now it buys you a whole lot less, but it locks in that zero lower bound, but don't worry because there is now a growing body of work developing mechanisms to expand the central bank's toolkit to overcome the zero lower bound. Take us into negative rates is what they're talking about. It'll it's elimination opens the possibility of a zero inflation target. They're telling you, Hey, you let us control everything. You'll have no inflation. No, you'll have deflation because they're going to rob you of all your principal and you're going to wake up in the streets with nothing, nothing. All they have to do is eliminate the arbitrage opportunity between cash that guarantees a zero nominal interest rate and money in the bank that would earn negative interest rates. So the new money coming out will have a chip in it so that if you then withdraw that money, whenever you go to redeposit it or you go to spend it, the technology will read, well, that's not really a hundred bucks, well, that's 80 or based upon the interest rates at the bank. So that's what they're gearing up to. And by the way, what they also say, and I, I mean, I have searched and searched and searched what is going to justify the creation of this money. Now this money is created by debt. And originally, I mean, it was hard to ferret that out to begin with. And they, they did say it would be debt based, but now they're talking about it being transaction based. So, oh, I want to go buy a boat. All right. Well, no problem. Here's the money for the boat. Oh, I want to buy a house. No problem. Here, we'll create the money for the house. You tell me how much value 
a currency that's created from at will from nothing is going to have nothing. They are crashing everything. Everybody thinks that they want to postpone, but I think they just needed to postpone it long enough to get the new system in place. I mean, that's what we're seeing.